Before the video starts, I just want to say, hey, if you guys want to duel me, here's my Master Duel ID. Just type that ID in and, you know, follow me. And if you want to duel, just hit me up. Thanks. Bye. So I wanted to see more hero matches, huh? Welcome everyone to Master Duel Replays. My name is Rev and today we're going through, I got a special treat for you. These five that you see right here are, oh my god, they're so good. They're so good in my opinion. One day I just hopped on Master Duel, right? And I'm like, I need to get more replays. Let me get five. All five duels you're gonna see were won back to back to back. Do you see the time frames? Look at those, back to back to back. All five duels, consecutive wins. My win rate, if I wanna show you guys right now, is, so, so far my con my competitive ranked season, I'm in gold tier two. My win streak is at nine in the current rank, and three more wins, I get to gold tier one, and I've only been using my, using my post Duelist Cup ranked heroes deck. And of course, if you guys wanna see the deck list, it will be at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's see what our first opponent is playing, shall we? Main deck 40, uh, Effect Failure Max C. Oh, it's Live Twins. I like, a, I like a good Live Twin matchup. So let's see exactly how this played out. The only thing I remember about these duels is Dark Law was just destroying and dominating all five consecutive duels. So let's see the starting hand. Ooh. Okay, they're starting, but I have Gamma, Denier, Stratos, Ferris, and Malicious. Okay, they start with Secret Password, so they get to add something to their hand. They get Sunny Snitch. They play Sunny Snitch as a continuous spell to get Live Twin Kisakiel from their deck. Normal Summon Kisakiel activate I Chain Gamma. So they don't get anything. You already played your Normal Summon. They Ash Blossom my Gamma. I, I understand. I understand. Okay, you can play. There. Well fought, sir. So my card got negated, but that means I could just activate it in another chain. So they decide to link away into, I believe, Kiss Kill. Yep. Ooh, in a royal. Let's go. We love to see that rarity. You're a live twin player. All right. So I start by activating Ferris, pitching Malicious to no to special summon Ferris to activate. Let me just tell you right now, this is going to be the most annoying card that I ever fight in Live Twins is Sunny Snitch. Every time I normal or special summon, they gain, I burn for 200. That's, oh, it's annoying because, you know, heroes, we like to normal summon, special summon, and just pop off as much as we can. So I need to get rid of that card as quickly as possible. You're thinking the smartest thing in the world would be to normal summon Stratos right after I do this. Don't do the whole Ferris line. Normal summon Stratos, destroy Sunny Snitch, then continue with the increase into Vion, stuff like that. Let's see if I do it, because I don't remember. They decided to Ghost Ogre my Ferris, which is destroying it, but not negating it. So I still set my increase. Why do I malicious? No. Oh, upon realizing I should have normal summoned Stratos, but you know me, I'm always like, save your normal summon. But they already used the Ash previous turn. Oh, duelist, think. So. We continue with the increase play. Then they act, they activate key skill in the chain on my turn. Rude. So I continue. I'm still getting burned. I don't know why I'm still continuing. I haven't normal summoned yet. Oh, brother. Okay, we get a dusted gold from the Shadow Mist. We get Dark Calling. Do I activate Stratos here or not? Still no. What am I doing? You know... Maybe I didn't deserve to win this duel because I don't know what I'm doing. I should have normal summoned Stratos at any point to destroy that spell card. There it is. I get burned again. My brother and Yami, I'm at 6,800. I finally destroyed that. Banish Shadow, let's get a poly, and they surrender. They probably would have surrendered way before that, but I just decided to keep playing and burn and burn. What was I doing? What was I doing? Was there a part of me that just said, Raise his eyebrow. You know what? Challenge accepted. And then I forgot I had Stratos in hand to normal summon. I don't know. Next deck is... Okay, this guy was kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. It was a Buster Blader deck. It was a Buster Blader... It was an OG like kind of deck. And I appreciate something like this. But my god. The internet was kind of terrible between our matches. It would always go back because he had like quick effects or something. And when that happened... It would always go to him and it would take like five minutes. And I understand like, you know, you don't really have that good of a connection. But my brother, it was a, no, it was a little annoying, I'm not going to lie. So let's see how the hero deck played up against the Buster Blader deck. This is going to be fun, but I did get two e-calls. Activate the first one, get the Stratos. 
That's that's a done deal. We already know that. Activate the second one. Pull the Shadow Mist? No, Honest Neos. Honest Neos, always. Unless I plan on linking away the Shadow Mist. Okay, so we use Stratos, pull Ferris. Ferris to pitch Vion. Yep, because we keep Honest Neos if we're going first. Just in case if they want to attack over us, we have to pitch it. Card gains 2,500 attack. Bada boom. In damage calculation, so that's fine. All right, let's see where this combo goes. Speed this up a bit, because I know it. So Liquid Soldier, we're going to grab the Poly. Yes, we are. Shadow Mist goes bye-bye. Grab the Polymerization. Fuse away into Sunrise for the start, correct? Let's see what I get from the increase. From Wow. Let's see what I get from the Liquid Soldier draw. Because you know, we get Miracle Fusion from Sunrise. For those two, I pulled another Stratos, and I got rid of a Hero Lives, because I already have monsters, and I feel like I just need a board here. They didn't Maxi, they didn't Ash anything. So I decided to Miracle Fusion away my Liquid Soldier and increase into Absolute Zero in defense, just in case of a Lightning Storm, because you know that decklist had it. Never put all your monsters in attack mode. I'm fine if these three go away. Yeah, you see that? That scares me. I don't know why that scares me. It just scares me. Because you, you don't know what they have. It could have a flip effect monster. And with that, it, oh, it could have a lot of things. So they set three and pass. My turn comes around. Normal summon Stratos. Activates Wabaku. I'm like, all right. Not taking any battle damage. And then Destruction Swords. Destruction Sword Memories. Means they can special summon a Buster Blader from their deck. Which I, which I allowed because I toggled off. And then when I saw Buster Blader, I toggled back on again. So I decided for Stratos to destroy those two because I didn't know what they were. Okay, good. So You know, I don't read, right? So when I attacked with Stratos, I used Sunrise to pop his Silent Magician 4. Or Silent Magician level 4. But with this... I forgot with Wabaku, monsters cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. You stupid! So, I don't know why I did it. Maybe I forgot, and then I read Wabaku again. I'm like, oh, right. So, pass turn to them. They scoop. Why are you running? You can't out this board with Buster Blader unless you, unless you have Buster Dragon and the Destruction Swordsman, like, trying to... You need to do a lot. And he, there was no way, especially with Ash Blossom and Honest Neos. There was no feasible way. Third deck, we have Insects. I hate Insects. In real life and in Master Duel. I don't hate the players that play this. B-Troopers, I just don't understand them, so I don't know what the right play is every now and again. But let's see how the heroes are going to squash some bugs, you know what I'm saying? Starting hand, Ash, Vion, Ferris, Polly, and Mask Chain. I think this is where Dark Law comes in. I go first. Ferris into Vion. Go down there because I have two Vion in this deck and two increase, so that's fine. Get the combo going off. Let's see how far I go. They didn't activate any Maxi or Ash Blossom, so that means I can go full extension if need be. This goes into Sunrise. Sunrise Defense. I did this because I'm not going to Absolute Zero here. There's no way I Absolute Zero. So I had Harpy's Feather Duster and Fusion Destiny I pulled? Yes. So I decided to pitch Feather Duster. Just because I don't feel like I need it when I have Ash Blossom. Mask Change I set. Activated Fusion Destiny. Get DPE in Defense Mode. And that should be my turn. Yep. That's, like my, that's my starting end board for now. Their turn comes around, E Trooper Descent. I don't chain anything to get the token. And then since there was a thing that was summoned, they can activate this and uh, special summon it from their hand. I quickly activate Mass Chains to get Dark Law on the field, just so everything that they do is now banished instead of sent to the grave. Now I knew they were going to Xyz here into, Xyz or Link, sorry. B Troopers, I believe, love to Link. So I thought it was gonna be Xyz, so I figured I try and pop I try and pop it and stop it beforehand. But I forgot their monster had a quick effect and could destroy it. And I also forgot that, you know, it didn't negate it, so I had to destroy something. So I just, just decided to destroy my sunrise. But I can still activate my DPE, he'll come out next turn. Except when I'm called by. 
I'm glad that my hero deck doesn't really rely on DP, so I was I was okay with this. So they called by that, but they realized I left Dark Law on the field, and then they they alt F4 because that's what that is. When you ever you see connection failed, just remember that it's an alt F4, especially if the connection had no like lag or anything. Our fourth out of the five duels. I do mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When you see something like this, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is your classic stall burn deck. You know, you got the lava golems, the marshmallows, the blast sphere, swords of revealing light, magic cylinders, tr tremendous fire, burning land. When I saw what he had after the fact, and I'm like, I'm so glad you didn't win. Yes, stall and burn decks is a play that you can do. It's just not fun. I saw no extra deck, so I started to think. Time Lords? Draco Fighters? What? And then when I realized that they T-set and ended, I'm thinking, okay, it's got to be a burn deck or something. What do I do? Start with an E-Call to pull a Stratos. I have Mask Change and Increase and Denier. So, get Stratos, pull the Ferris, use Ferris, sending Denier, and I don't think they activate anything here. So, I kept going until they decided to retaliate or anything like that. Got a mist, I believe pull honest? No, liquid soldier. Why am, why am I getting mixed up here? So we grab the poly. Just a classic play to get the sunrise out, and I believe I go absolute zero here because they didn't do anything to this to stop it. So I just decided why not full combo, right? Right? I do play Miracle Fusion here, right? Okay, Link in the Cross Crusader. So I don't do absolute zero just yet. And it's interesting that I pitched roll and locker as well. But we have Mask Change and Mask Change too, so just if we want to get wild with some things, but we get Denier back with Cross Crusader, Tribute Denier again, or Tribute Away Denier. For a Dusted Gold, do I activate a Dusted Gold? I do, to get my Dark Calling for a little Mally Baney. So see, I have multiple, multiple things here. That's why I like about the Hero deck. You have multiple methods to go over it. You get Malicious Bane. I don't think Malicious Bane can target face down cards, so I decide to battle. It's a Marshmallow. So I get burned for a thousand. Cool! You know what I did next? I put Increase here. I act I attack with Shadows, but I use Sunrise to pop it. Attack. 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 Oh, you thought we were done. Oh, 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 that's funny. I, I you thought we were done. You know, me just end my turn with 300 when I have Mask Change. Mask Change is a quick play spell you can play in your battle phase. So you know what I do? Target my Dark Attribute, get Dark Law on the field, and I beat him over the head. Be gone! Trying to burn deck against me. Our fifth and final duel is against... Ursartic. Or Ursartic? I don't know how to pronounce this archetype at all. But I do appreciate a nice Royal Rare. Hello, look at that. So obviously the end game is their Ursartic and got a name here. I didn't know. I didn't know all that. Drytron's okay. But mainly, <laughs> this is what terrified me. Look at this card. Look at Melfi Caddy. I never played against this deck at all, so I only saw Melfi Caddy and I'm like, okay, is this a Melfi deck? I'm gonna actually lose to Melfi's here. Huh, hang on. Any deck can be dangerous if you let them set up, but Melfi's, if you underestimate them, they're gonna scratch your eyes out just like a cat's claw. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Starting hand is Droll and Lockbird, Vion, Miracle Fusion, Mask Chains, Called By. But they're going first. So, they activate their Continuous Spell, placing seven spell counters on that. You gotta be real confident going first if you're gonna pitch your Ash Blossom. Maybe they had a second one. I decided Droll and Lockbird, so it's like, hey, you like adding cards? We're not doing that. Considering this one, you can remove one counter from this card to draw one card. Once per turn during the end phase, you can target a card in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. That's exactly what they did. They normal summon Melfi Caddy. So I normal summon Vion. They decide to activate it now. I mask change from Vion. So I thought Melfi Caddy was going to like negate it or he was going to have some form of negate. I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. Here comes Dark Law. Melfi Caddy shuffles into the hand and they add a beast monster. But I still have my Vion plays with Shadow Mist. And then since he drew a card. This is, this is the part I love. Chain Link 1, Dark Law. Chain Link 2, Shadow Mist. 
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. My love, I mean, filled with hate and annoyance in every fiber of my being if you ever called by my shadow myth. Cool. And they decided chain link for their McMillis. Or McBillis, I don't know how to say this. So during the main phase, you can tribute one level seven or higher monster from your hand. Special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except monsters with a level. <laughs> okay, that's, I don't know why I found that funny, just with a level. If this card is special summoned, you can special summon one Earth Electric monster from your hand except this card. You can only, okay. So he'll, pro he'll get probably get two on the field. So he decided to chain link for that. Banishing that. Or sending it. So he gets to special summon another one if he wanted to. But special summon from your hand. So that happened to where Dark Claw's effect banished the other Earth Arctic in his hand. So all all that he has in his hand right now is Melfi Caddy. And another card because he removed one from a counter. So I set call by end mask chains two and I end my turn because that's all I can do. But if he decides to draw a card, he can he knows he knows he's kinda screwed here. Because he probably doesn't have the monster that can tribute itself or tribute tribute another monster from hand to special summon and then special summon another one because he had Melfi Caddy clogging up his hand, and then even if he draws, I will if he draws out of his draw phase, I will be able to snatch one, banish it. So, I was hitting the right cards. Good job. Good job, Darklaw. Good job. Great duels to everyone all around. Thank you guys, you fellow duelists, for tuning into this video. You know, I do appreciate doing these for you guys, and I, I'm working on something. I'm working on the combination of my hero deck with another, with another archetype that will work. I just have to do some more casual duels with it, test it out, refine it, and then I promise I will have a live version of these videos going out to you guys, to where... I'm going to talk through the plays live so I can try and figure this out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my ID is as follows in Master Duel. You guys can follow me on here, add me, and then challenge me to some duels, you know? I want to see what you guys have. And if we have some good duels, maybe you might make it into a video. Who knows? I love you guys. Keep being awesome. And be respectful to your other duelists as well, you know? Because the toxicity is going around. And even though some people may say, oh, I'm just joking. No, you're being toxic. I'll, I'll speak out about it. You're being toxic. No, 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 no. I'm not. That's just not okay. I'll say at the end of the video so it's not clogging up the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just be respectful to one another, you know? We all like to have fun and we all like to duel. 